Hello everybody and welcome to Solid Code. In this video we are going to review the new Dev Toys by Microsoft and we are going to test a, a few of the utilities that it has. So first of all we are going to see how to install it. You just have to go to the Microsoft web page for Dev Toys. I will put the link down in the description and you click on get. This extension is uh, fully free. That will open the Microsoft Store and it will prompt the login from Microsoft and you have to log in and after that you can download it and open it. Once it is installed you can go to the tool. I'm going to go to all tools. Here you can see here you can see sorry a menu of all of the tools that it has. So let's test the functionalities. Let's test first the JSON to YAML converter. I have a JSON right here that I that I prepared for this for this video. So let's copy this and let's paste it. So as you can see, it formatted it in YAML uh, style. So this is really helpful, especially when you are um, looking at older projects that maybe are not um, using YAML. So that is a good a good tool. Uh, let's go to the number base. So here you can convert any number to different bases like hexadecimal, decimal and binary. This is really useful when you're working with conversion tools or especially on binary that is uh, difficult to know the, the binary no value of all numbers. So this that's what you have on the section of converters. After that we have encoders and decoders which is really useful especially on projects that need certain types of encoding so let's encode an HTML and see what it happens I have one right here I'm going to copy it this is a small one and as let me see I will click on encode and as you can see it is encoded and I can do the backwards process. So if you have an encoded version of an HTML you can convert it easily to the fully HTML version. So that is really helpful. On URLs I'm going to copy this same URL and as you can see here it is encoded same the backwards process. Base64 So as you can see, you can encode and decode in UTF, UTF-8, and the backward process as well. We have a JSON Web Token decoder. I'm going to copy one that I prepared here, and we are going to compare that the payload and the header is the same in the tool. As you can see, this is the header and the payload it is there, it's John Doe and these two numbers so all the info is there, the, the JWT decoder is working great we have a JSON formatter, this is really useful when you have really ugly formatted JSONs so I'm going to put it there and as you can see it's totally formatted we have hash generators, so for example this is a text and as you can see it generates it in different um, encodings like MD5 and SHA-1 this is as you know really important when we are working with password uh, safety and encryption in general it has a lot of IPS IPSUM generator especially when you're, we are working with web projects and you can generate multiple paragraphs also sentences, I'm going to generate more here so this is really cool on text we have different uh, styles so for example we can convert to COBOL case for example also some crazy uh, styles like inverse case title case uh, snake case, I don't know, okay so yeah also here we can see how many lines characters and words we have uh, we have a regex tester that is really useful 
usually we when we are working with rejects we have to go to the web and try and try them there but here we have it with all these tools together we have a text comparator so for example this is my new text I'm going to put here all so we can see the differences there it has an inline mode as well and in, gra in graphics I already tested it here so we have color blindness simulator we can see this picture it was converted to this one by color blindness and we have a PNG and JPG compressor that is really important we are when we are working in web, in web projects or in games that we need uh, assets conversion so this is the dev toys uh, uh, I really liked it I started to use it a few hours ago uh, in my projects uh, I hope that they add more um, utilities or tools in the future but this is really great it's for free and it's like uh, to have a repository in one app of many of the tools that developers need uh, uh, when they when we are working so this is great so thanks for watching I hope you like this review and please hit the like button and subscribe and see you next time